Uh, Dan has got a novel plan that I haven't seen. We've been asking all the time. David and I were talking about forbearance earlier. Dan, welcome to the show. Forbearance is what this plan's about. Talk, tell me about it. Yeah, hey, Jim. Nice to hear your voice. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, we're trying to do a number of different things for uh, small businesses, um, as are many companies. Um, but uh, we're doing five different things. First of all, we are uh, basically allowing customers to request to defer repayments on any of their business loans and cash advances at no additional cost. Uh, we're waiving chargeback fees for merchants if customers file a dispute with their credit card issuer through at least the end of April. We're waiving fees uh, if businesses want to instantly withdraw money, you know, for things like payroll, other things, um, to either a, a bank account, a MasterCard debit or Visa debit card, again, at least through the end of April. We're doubling the window in which merchants can respond to a customer dispute and uh, in partnership with MasterCard, we're doubling the amount of instant cashback rewards on eligible purchases uh, with the PayPal business debit card. So we're basically trying to give small businesses the flexibility to deal with the issues that they have right now. And in addition, Jim, as you know, we're one of the largest providers of working capital to small businesses, and we're going to continue to provide that where we can. You know, Dan, it's fun when I read this. I want people to understand we often think about earnings per share and how hard a company works and try to make the numbers. Uh, it, every one of these is not positive for your earnings per share. And, and it's pretty clear you don't give a damn. You're trying to do what's right. Well, look, Jim, I mean, we, this country and around the globe, we're going through, uh, you know, waters that are uncharted for all of us. And I think this is a time where companies that have uh, a degree of financial strength, and PayPal certainly has that. We've got a very strong balance sheet. We've got a strong business model. Our products and services are needed more than ever right now. Digital payments are booming. People are, you know, at home. They're uh, doing more and more e-commerce. They're doing more and more charitable giving. Uh, through platforms uh, like PayPal uh, and Venmo. And this is a time where we need to step up and we need to give. Um, it is the right thing to go do, and it's the right thing to go do for customers, but let's not forget about our employees as well. This is the right thing to step up to make sure that they know that we've got their back, that we don't intend to do any layoffs uh, as a result of COVID-19, that if they're sick, we pay them. If an office closes, we pay them. And we really need to be sure that we have their health and their financial security uh, at heart as we deal with this crisis right now. And so I think this is a multi-pronged uh, approach that uh, business leaders and, and companies around the globe need to approach and not as a business as usual. Now, Dan, I, I've been dealing something with a lot of small businesses. Typically, I deal with businesses this, your size. Here's something that they often say. It, it, I don't know how to get a hold of the company because I really don't understand what it means for me. I know it's good for me, but I, I can't figure it out. What, what happens? I mean, there, a lot of small businesses don't have a full-time accountant on them. Uh, it, they do their own payroll. and They're trying to figure out, well, what does this mean? I want it. What do you tell them? Yeah. So we've tried to um, react uh, to all of the uncertainty that's out in the environment right now by uh, just creating innovative, uh, different ways of helping uh, either consumers uh, or small businesses to be able to connect to our products and services. Think about it. You were talking about this uh, earlier in the program. You have everybody uh, at home right now, and a lot of older adults at home right now who may not be as familiar uh, with technology uh, like PayPal or Venmo to be able to send money uh, to loved ones, to be able to purchase things uh, from home. So we've created tutorials uh, for them if they come to our website that are just simple and easy to understand. 
Um, we've attempted as best we can to create self-service tools to be able to answer all of the calls that are coming in to our customer uh, service um, agents around the world um, because there's a huge demand for our products right now. We're seeing our net new actives uh, grow quite substantially in the past uh, several weeks, um, and we need to be there uh, for our customers. We need to be there for our employees, and we need to be there for all of the people who are putting themselves out on the line for all of us, you know, whether that be nurses and doctors or the cashiers, you know, at grocery stores and pharmacies. There are a lot of heroes out there um, that are, you know, doing everything. And uh, I just feel like doing our part in that uh, is the expected and the right thing to do. You mentioned that it is uh, you're not alone. And I think it's important to point out uh, what a great company MasterCard is, Ajabanga. Uh, this PayPal business debit MasterCard is makes something that's something that makes me want to go out and spend. I mean, there's very little, very little incentive to spend from April 1 to April 30th. This one sounds like it's it's for real. Well, Ajay and I were just texting right before uh, um, I, I'm coming on to your show right now talking about uh, not just that, but other things that we can uh, do together and uh um, I spoke with Al Kelly just the other day with Steve Squirry at American Express, and we are all uh, trying to come together to think about ways that we can help the country, that we can work uh, with the government. For instance, you know, this CARES Act that was just passed, you know, we're deeply engaged with agencies uh, across um, uh, D.C. right now. Because we have an infrastructure in place to get money to people quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a unique ability to provide small businesses with financing. Um, and, um, and that's so critical right now. And if you think about it, Jim, 25% of Americans are, are outside the financial system. They don't have access to basic services like a bank account. And, you know, Many of our discussions with government agencies are focusing on providing that trusted access to digital payments for those Americans. And this is a place where, you know, PayPal and Venmo can shine. And we want to work hand in hand mm -hmm. with governments and with other uh, uh, private sector um, uh, companies to do anything that we can to help here. Um, we obviously don't have the answer for everything by far and away. Um, but each of us can do our part, and I think if we do that, that makes a difference, at least some small difference. Dan, you and I, and lost in this, was you said the, the no layoff pledge, which is so important. I'm trying to get everybody else to take it, too, but you and I, mutual friend, uh, Mark Benioff, what can I do? I'm old enough. That i got to call him a friend. I know his mom. I his wife, geez. But uh, <laughs> one of the things that, that we were talking about is that business is the greatest force for change, and when I hear this, and what Master Al Kelly from Visa, uh, what Squirry from Merck Express is doing, what you're doing, I think this is unprecedented. I don't know if people realize that business is more is is the leader in trying to help as opposed to a follower. Dan, things have changed, haven't they? Well, I do think that um, businesses have a obligation, uh, maybe even a moral obligation to uh, step up and, uh, and try to do the right thing. Um, I think that starts with their employees, taking care of their employees, making sure that their employees are, are financially healthy. And that is something that I think every CEO needs to look at uh, carefully. Then I think we have an obligation to work with the public sector. In fact, uh, earlier uh, this week, Mark Benioff and I were working with uh, one of the governors um, uh, here in the U.S. Uh, to look at different ways of uh, working together. So I think that public-private sector uh, coming together uh, to think about innovative ways to be helpful. Um, uh, this is an era where I think your brands need to stand for more than just making money. Um, they need to have a purpose around them. Uh, we need to uh, obviously take care of uh, our shareholders. Uh, but I think the way we do that best is by taking care of our employees, taking care of our customers, and stepping up and doing the right thing. 
that's, I think, at least how we build businesses that are enduring and an economy that can be strong. And a strong economy is helpful for everybody. Um, and, and we have to play our part in that.